The opposition has called on the independent speaker to consider resigning from parliament unless he abstains from voting on new gang laws. They don't believe Peter Wellington can be impartial on the subject of bikies. The last time Peter Wellington and Jared Blay crossed swords, the speaker had no patience for the parliamentary stunts of his fellow Sunshine Coast MP. Member for Kwana, will you, member for Kwana, will you remove Thank you. the prop? No rats today, but the member for Kiwana wants Mr Wellington to abstain from his potentially casting vote later this year on replacing the criminal gang laws that Mr Blay brought in. The formal request is in a letter from the acting opposition leader who respectfully asks that the speaker takes no part in the debate and vote on the proposed new laws. Otherwise, Mr Blay suggests Mr Wellington should get out altogether. Should consider whether he's a fit and proper person to serve in any of the roles that he currently is in Queensland, and that includes being a member of the Legislative Assembly of Queensland. It's because as the independent member for Nicklin, Mr Wellington stood up for bikies arrested under the anti-association laws. Certainly the Speaker has nailed his colours to the mast when it comes to his support for a convicted drug dealer and former Rebels bikie member. Everything Mr Wellington has said lately has been on Facebook. He's again declined to comment on anything the opposition says about him. But it should make the next sitting of Parliament here very interesting. The government, meanwhile, is in no rush to flesh out its changes to the Vlad laws. We need to get the implementation and the transition from recommendation into legislation right. And that's why we will be working with the best legal minds that Queensland has. One of those legal minds is reportedly the former Solicitor General Walter Sofronoff, who drafted the 2013 version. I'm not at liberty to reveal um, legal advice that the government has sought. Whoever it is has until at least August. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.